Part 6. We are going to continue with graphs in practical situations. You will find this on page 201 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, distance, time, graphs. Let's look at an example. John left home at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. He walked to the swimming pool. On the way to the swimming pool, he stopped to talk to a friend. And then he continues walking. Here is a distance graph for his journey. There he is at the swimming pool. So remember, here he stopped at the swimming pool. Now, for how many minutes did John stop and talk to his friend? Now, it's very important. First, look at the axis to see what each block represents. Now, if you look at the x-axis, four block represent one hour. That's 10 to 11. There's one, two, three, four. Now, remember... One hour, it will be 60 minutes. So basically, I will just take the 60 minutes and I will divide it by 4. And then every block will represent five, 15 minutes. So this is 15, 30, 45, and then one hour. Okay. So the y-axis, two blocks represent one kilometer. One, two, three, four, five kilometers to the swimming pool. Okay. So let's look at the question. For how many minutes did John stop and talk to his friend? So if you look here, you will see one. Oh, let's just clean that. Let's just get to this. W one, two, three blocks. Remember, one block represents 15 minutes. So three times 15 will be 45 minutes. Okay. N number B. What is the distance from John's home to the swimming pool? So remember, walk. Stop at the friend, walk to the swimming pool. So here. So what is the distance? It will be 5 kilometers. Now, what was John's average speed from home to the swimming pool? So speed, remember, is distance divided by time. So the distance will be 5 kilometers. And the time, remember, it stops there. From 10 to 12, that will just be 2 hours. And if I divide it, it will be 2.5 Kilometers, remember this is in kilometers, and this will be in hours. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now seven, number A, B, and C. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Try, let's start. Try now, seven. Number A, Ron left school at 3.30. He walked Walked home. On the way home, he stopped to talk to his friend. So this is school and this is home. And there he stopped to talk to his friend. There. There. Okay. Now first let's look at the x-axis. Now this is 3.30 and this is 3.40. So this will be exactly 10 minutes. So one block will be 5 minutes. So don't forget that. One small block will be 5 minutes. Okay. And then two blocks will be one kilometer. So this is in minutes. We can work out, and this will be in kilometers. So find the distance Ron walked during the first 10 minutes of his journey. 10 minutes will only be up to a year, and that was exactly what? One kilometer. So let's just write it down. Ron walked one kilometer during... The first 10 minutes. Okay. Now we will look at number B. Find the total time that Ron stopped to talk to his friend. Now remember he stopped there. And we said one small block will just be 5 minutes. So just 5 minutes. And then number C. Sp okay. What was Ron's average speed from school to his home? So remember speed. Can you still remember? I think we're going to do distance, speed, and time. So dis speed is distance divided by time. So speed is distance. And you also do it usually in physical science. Okay. So basically the distance, look, from 0 to 3, so the distance is 3 kilometers. Remember, I want the answer 
in kilometers per hour. So the time, the time, it's from there to there. Now let's just count the small blocks. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So it's 35 minutes. Now if you can still remember, if I want to, let's just write it here. If I want to go from hours, minutes, seconds. Now remember, there is 60, now oh, let's just rewrite it. There is 60, 60. One hour, 60 minutes. One minute, 60 seconds. If I go to this side, I multiply. And if I come back, I divide. So remember, it's 35 minutes. But I want it, the speed in kilometers per hour. So I must take the minutes to hours. So I must divide by 60. So it's divide. So take the 35 and first divide it by 60 to get it in hours so that my answer is in kilometers per hour. And then press it on your calculator and you will get 5.1 kilometers per hour. And that will be correct to one decimal point. That will be my final answer.